This playlist, this is an introduction for what's going to be a long playlist about how to properly help and give the best information possible to your patent counsel. And I'm going to explore a lot of details about why it is I don't get that from my, my inventors and why that makes my job so much harder. One, I need my inventors to better understand the elements of a patent disclosure. Two, patent drawings. Three, forecasting into the future embodiments you haven't built yet but that you hope to produce at some point. And then four, not trying to get ahead of yourself and discuss what's going to be in the claims and hold back information because you don't want it in the claims. Okay, you folks that have some kind of mobile embodiment, sure, you know, borrow from what exists. If you've already built a portion of your mobile screens, take photos of them just like this and we can get those converted into patent drawings. Obviously include arrow, circle, square. Um, and then if there's embodiments you haven't thought of yet, just draw some of them. Take a guess. This is a mobile embodiment. It's got a arrow, a circle, and a square, signifying Android, and it's got a couple buttons. Here's an upload, here's a download, here's a text entry box, here's just any button for anything. We don't know why. Take a guess. Try to forecast what your product's going to look like in the future. What happens when you press this button? What does it transfer you to? What happens when you download? Why would you want to download something and what is the point? Where is the text entry box and what kind of text are you looking for? And then once you enter it, what do you do with it? These are kind of things that you don't need to have built. You can still take credit for it and get patentable, uh, what's known as a patentable record of conception of the invention, just based on pen and paper drawings. But this involves forecasting and being intelligent on your part and knowing not just what invention um, embodiments you have now, but what you'll have in the future. And I just moved it over here. Okay, let's say it's got a mobile component, but it also may have a desktop component. All right, well, to show the examiner that we're talking about a desktop, use a rectangle somewhat shaped like a desktop and use the minimize, maximize clothes that come with Windows. And that's okay, even if it turns out to be a uh, OS X Mac uh, software. We'll just say in the specification that the drawings are for demonstration purposes only, example purposes only, and can be run on a variety of platforms. The example of minimize, maximize, close is just for convenient reference to make the drawing as understandable as possible. However, the disclosure herein should not be limited to just that type of Windows interface. We're covered. That's all you got to do. Make as many drawings as you want of features and software and principles. Put the buttons in here, the up, down, the min upload, download, the minimizing or the text entry box but my inventors don't do that and it makes it harder let's say well I got the new uber for trucking I got the new uber for marijuana I got the new kind of principle of uh, I don't know eBay for cannabis or I don't know what and they just say well here's how it's gonna work but they never give me any drawings never give me any example GUIs never give me any of the actual visual flow of what the invention will look like because, well, I haven't developed it yet. Okay, that's fine you haven't developed it, but you got to take a guess. you got to tell the examiner what you hope and anticipate this thing will look like. And if you don't do that, you're not going to get a patent. Thanks for watching. Let me know any other topics you want me to discuss. This YouTube channel is to help you. This is for information. I want to hear from you, and I want to know what things are on your mind.